Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and I'm so sorry that I just did the bait and switch by uploading the first two videos of this and then nothing for weeks, but basically, as you might have heard, what happened was the second recording session of this um, crapped out and it recorded the game audio but not the game video so I wasn't able to upload anything and then I had to play back up from the beginning because I broke my own cardinal rule which is to normally do exactly this and copy my file before recording um, which I've been doing since I started LPing the very first time <laughs> um, so uh, Without further ado, here we go, finally getting back into Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and um, here we are back on the ranch again. I'm actually, um, I'm trying, I'm trying the Wii U gamepad here, which uh, I, I, I decided I might as well um, see what it's like, you know, when I said I'd figure I'd do maybe the, the motion controls and see what that's like as well. Um, at least just to just have an idea, you know, so um, When we last left off, I don't think I was up here But um, I think I was down the village, but I think it started me up here the last time as well, but so who cares? Um, so one other thing that I learned When I was editing these videos is that I've solved the mystery of a lifetime um, which is why when I recorded certain games, um, why when I recorded certain games did, um, did the video become unsynced with my commentary during editing? And I, this has been like plaguing me ever since the days of um, Super Mario Galaxy, Final Fantasy X, like all of these games, right? That has been happening. And I finally figured it out, is that when I was rendering it with Final Cut Pro, I was rendering these game systems running at 25 frames per second, because they're PAL or whatever. I was rendering them at 30 frames per second, or I had the project set to 30 frames per second, um, which is what happened. So now I have finally solved the mystery, because it pissed me off as well when I was editing the first two videos that that was happening. I was like, I've got to get to the bottom of this, so... Well, those guys are bullying poor Colin. You think we can, um, you think we can go see Ilya together? Why? Jesus. Don't rope me into these things as if I needed another LP where I just got roped into things that I have no personal investment in. Harry, hello again. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> You're going to Hyrule Castle, aren't you, Harry? App apparently I have to. It's just all in the day's work. That must be so nice. I want to go to Hyrule too. I mean, there's nothing that looks good on me in this town. You're like, what, 10 or something? And here they are. She's like 10 and here she is like slushing all up to me or whatever. Hey, we've been waiting for you, you know, Harry? <laughs> Yesterday was so much fun. Yeah, chasing that monkey is great. And there's Mallow looking like the boss baby or whatever. Um, I was just telling Malu here about how we wanted to go show it to him, but we let it go instead. Oh, you didn't get caught, Tallow. <laughs> oh, Colin. We just spoiled everything by telling your dad. Nice job. Yeah, thanks a lot. We got scolded by our dad. Something awful. I thought it was never going to end. I bet you're trying to go see Ilya, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm going to let you pass. Is this, this even the voice that those kids had? It's funny how, like, um... Tallow or whatever is always like messing around with the monkeys and he has like a monkey like face himself Mallow has a face like a baboon's backside If I had that wooden sword yesterday, I couldn't have I could have handled it all alone definitely come on Let me borrow this wooden sword right now back in the original recording I went on like this big rant about how is this like the sliding doors moment for Twilight Princess because if if I hadn't been such a magnanimous nice guy and lent this stupid child my sword then none of the crap that happens in this game would have happened maybe and this is the sliding doors moment and I went on about it so much it's bad enough in Pokemon Shield I talk about Shallow Hal for so long, and now here I am talking about more Gwyneth Paltrow movies in Twilight Princess, but 
There you go, it's all par for the course here on Rock Paper Mario's YouTube channel. Oh, hi there, Colin. Thanks. <laughs> An avocado. Those guys are always teasing me. What's so fun about swinging something like that around anyway? I hate it. It's scary. But when I grow up, I'm going to be just like you, Harry. I don't want to learn about swords or anything, but could you teach me how to ride a horse sometime? Can you? You have to promise. Don't these kids have any other, like, like adult figures to look up to in this, in this podunk town other than me? It's like, jeez. Well, I guess I am the bee's knees here. The big kahuna burger. All these kids with their parents. Where are my parents? Ilya's the mayor's child. Tallow and Mallow are the... That blockhead guy's child. The other girl, whatever her name is. I don't even remember anymore. Hey there. <laughs> Harry! Is, she, is he like... Is he like after locking me out and take, keeping me away from my own girl? <laughs> yeah, you want divorce. You'll, you'll get a divorce. Messing around with Colin. Why don't you think about what you've done for a change? I won't open the gate until you change your attitude. Ilya, you don't know what happened yesterday. Listen, I don't know if she'll listen to me, but let me try to explain about Tallow and the monkey, okay? I believe you. Which are not, he, he has a face like Niles Crane from Freight. Oh, I can't even control the camera now. He has like a. Oh, that's not even his face. It's the back of his stupid pudding bowl head. Um, he has a face like Niles Crane from Fraser, or more specifically, like this ridiculous cartoon that I saw, like this animation that some guy made where Fraser and Niles Crane become demon lords, and like. <laughs> Fraser is there like, what should we do with this one, Niles? Is eternal damnation too harsh? And the Niles demon lord was like, hmm, maybe a half damnation. It's like one of the funniest animations I've ever seen in modern memory or whatever. Oh, I had no idea. I hadn't heard the details about Talos' capture. Yeah, you didn't try to hear them. We need to go on Dr. Phil and get our communication lines sorted out here. Well, divorce, if divorce was a good friend, divorce would have, if divorce was a really loyal horse, he wouldn't have gone with you. He would have been like, hang on a second, it's not that big a deal. So you still prefer your master over me, huh, divorce? That's right, I killed your master. <laughs> I haven't heard, I haven't thought of that one in a long time. Where, like, the, whatever her name is in, um... In, um, in Kill Bill is like, I killed your master. But Harry, but what? Can you at least promise me this? No matter what happens on your journey, don't try to do anything out of your league, please. Just come home safely. I'm pretty sure it'll just be a run-of-the-mill trip to town, you know, we'll get robbed by the toll boots on the way there, then some, we'll see some weirdos like you see in the city compared to when you grow up in the countryside, we'll come back, we'll have a few stories to tell and that'll be it. Except not. Look who it is, it's um, well, I don't know who it is, it's like some sort of goblin or something. And look, this is what I was talking about, I was like, if I had had my sword, it's the sliding doors moment. If I had had my sword, then I would have been able to defend us. But all because I had to be the nice guy and lend my sword to those stupid punk ass kids. Then, um, whatever his name is, um, Humbaba or whatever here, which is what he looks like, comes in here, ruining our romantic moment, tearing up shit. Making her last line so ironic, you know. You get out of here with your 1,000 feral hogs or, <laughs> or whatever it is.
Yep, I pretty much missed out on all the action. I'm a failure. I love how, like, in this game, compared to Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, you definitely see that development of cinematic nature where they have, like, the incidental music to match what's going on and stuff. And this wasn't here before, and that definitely wasn't here before. Some gnarly old hand reaching out. Yeah, just like I said, run-of-the-mill day here. And with Predator. <laughs> Wisdom and courage. That's what they do look like, though. I have to say, like, I love the design of the, um, of the monsters in this game. Oh no, what's going on here? It's like, um, it's like Teen Wolf. I'm going to arrive home one day all, like, stressed out because I'm growing hair and then my dad will just be there in the kitchen, large as life, all like a werewolf or whatever. Or it's like my hairiest adventure, that bizarre episode of Goosebumps where the parents are turning the kids into dogs so that they can have dogs. It's like, what the hell? Oh no, they're turning the dogs into kids? Can't even remember. They're either turning the kids into dogs or the dogs into kids, one or the other, anyway. Overwrite this log. It's something like that, isn't it? Where, like... They, they have these dogs that they turn into kids so that they can have kids, but then they turn they revert back into being dogs or something. I don't know. Someone who has seen that in the last 20 years, like I haven't, let me know. And this day just can't get any shittier. Saving monkeys, screwing around with... Having to screw around with kids, have, like, being their friend and all that crap, and now here I am in jail, and I'm a dog into the bargain. I really am in the dog house. And here's just the latest <laughs> spanner in my works. I- yeah, ha, ha I found you! <laughs> Ooh, aren't you scary? Yeah, yeah, ha, ha. Are you sure you want to be doing that snarling and glaring at me? Well, that's too bad. I was planning on helping you if you were nice. Thus begins the, uh, the very kind of, like, strained relationship between Link and Midna, I guess. It's kind of like a strange arrangement that they have, which I like. Because, um... She's not just kind of like this weak thing who's kind of like, oh, please help me, please be a hero. She's like definitely all in the power, there's like the power play going on there. You humans are obedient to a fault, aren't you? Yeah. Oops, but you aren't a humor anyway. A anymore, are you? You're a beast! <laughs> like the, like, um, like take a look at the beast or whatever. Neat parachy trick. <laughs> you look kind of surprised. Hee hee hee. Or yeah ha ha again. What is it that Gaston even says there? He like holds up the mirror. He's like, Just look upon the beast or something like that. And riles up all the town's folk. Well, I'll make you a deal. If you can get over here, maybe I'll tell you. Yeah ha ha. This was so embarrassing as well. Like, I, like I'm almost glad I get to... I'm almost glad I get to record this again because the, um, my initial, um, recording of this was, like, so, of such, like, poor quality, um, because I forgot that you could press B to attack, and here I was, like, an idiot, like, ramming into the thing with A, like, which, which, to be honest, should work to be, because it's doing the same thing, but... It took me literally about five minutes to get out of that place, and I felt like a complete and utter dunderhead. Hey, this wasn't part of the deal. 
I guess you're not completely stupid after all. Listen, I like you, so I think I'll get you out of here. <laughs> Whoa. But in exchange for my help, you have to do exactly as I say. It's like dominatrix midnight or whatever. So, are we all clear? Good. Now come on, get moving. <laughs> ah, yip yip. So here we are in some sort of grotty old dungeon. Oh, I didn't even know that's what I was supposed to do. I completely forgot this again. It's one thing like forgetting this after I uh, after I hadn't played the game in like ten years or something like that. But like forgetting it after I hadn't played the game, uh, forgetting it after I hadn't played the game only only like a couple of weeks ago. That's the more silly thing, but. I think we'll actually let let's leave like the next section for for the next video because I don't want to get started on that and start talking about things and stuff like that. So um, I'll say thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess, where the sliding doors went down um, and my hairiest adventure began. At least the uh, it, it actually is his hairiest adventure. At least until like there's the triple x leather daddy version or something anyway we're <laughs> we're not going starting another like conversation here so i'll see you next time good to be back bye now <laughs>